Hello, my name is Luke Howes and I'm an Applications Engineer here at CADLINE. And today we're going to be continuing our AVT, the Autodesk Vehicle Tracking software, and we're going to be looking at the parking tools available to us in the software. For this, I'm going to show you how to insert and edit a parking row. For this, I'm going to select the new row from our parking toolbar. I'm going to select the appropriate design standards, the British Bulletin 32 Second Edition. And I'm going to continue and I'm going to make a set of parking bays through here. I'm going to call this one Parking Zone 1. I can then come through and I have a choice of how I'd like my bays to be aligned, whether they are staggered, parallel, 45 degrees, or whether they're an in and out bay through the center of a feature. I also have the choice of having a marking either side of the white line or just towards the inside of the line where the vehicle will be parked. Following this, I have options to select the left, both sides or the right hand side of the curb or the parking area. For this, I'm just going to select the right hand side. I can choose the direction of my traffic, whether it's single or two way, the vehicle class that will be parked here, the bay angle in accordance to the rear curb, the bay style itself. So this is going to be a standard parking bay. And I can add the zone names in accordance with the style. Underneath, I have the options to include a footpath at the back of this parking bay. I can have an island at the start, in the middle, where it bends, or at the end of the, foot, of the actual parking rows. I don't need either of these at the ends, as I am confined here by these curb lines. And again, because I'm confined by the curb lines, I no longer need a line at the start and finish of my rows. Once I've made all these changes, I click in the drawing to start my parking row. And as I move my cursor away, you'll see the actual parking bays insert into the drawing. I'm going to click where the curb line changes, and then track along to the next point. As you can see on the bend of my parking bays, I then have a island inserted into the middle. I've used a standard bay for this entire row, but what I'd actually like to do is make these three bays into a disabled section. I return to the parking panel, I select to edit a parking bay, it asks me to select the row to edit, so I will click on this one, and then I have the square grips inside, and as I hover near them they highlight in red just to indicate that that is the bay I will be editing. I'll click to select the bay, I'll change the bay type from a standard to a single, I can also copy this to another row, so I can copy it to the one next to it. As you can see, you, the bays change and you the symbols insert. Once I'm happy, I can close and press escape, and I there have my bays now converted to two disabled parking bays. You can make your own custom bay styles, and we will discuss this in a future video.